Oh, well, you guys, I'm sorry I forgot the camera on. I just turned it on. Oh, no, I'm bad. Okay. But here I am. I'm getting this epoxy spread all over these parts. On the tail section here. Okay. You don't want to put too much on here. We want to put enough to make it join nice. Okay, so. I've got everything here, I believe. Oops. And the black part. Ready to include up here. Okay, so. Okay. Well, that's ready. Now, um, I see that I should have that part somewhere there. I don't. So, get that covered. And, I think it's time to put it all together. Yes, it is. Okay. Just a little bit more of this one piece over here. Just a little bit more. I can see. Okay, so now remember right this piece is gonna go here and this piece is gonna go on like that. Okay, so now all I have to do Get this all squared. Oh, I'm going to excess epoxy there. I'm going to tidy that up. Okay, so it's looking like everything is lined up really good. Oh, well, this is big, isn't it? I'm going to hold this while this epoxy cures. I'm making sure everything's working properly here, and it is. And try and keep those pieces on square. That the piece falling out. So I'll be back. I'll start the video again when this is closer to being. Um, the glue being set. Okay, so there we do. We have the tail on the airplane. That was easy. Well, there we go. The tail's in. What's that, eh? Huh? Up and down, and left and right with the little water rudder down there. That's cool. Okay, so now, oh, I'm going to have to get a stand for this. I'm going to put the servo inside here, right? But I think what I'll do is hmm, yeah, I'm going to take the servo horn off. Okay. And I'm going to put the servo horn on the wire and then Servo horn on the servo. I have a funny feeling that, that wire is bigger Okay, okay the butt here So I can make this hole just a little bit bigger try a little harder. I'll be right back. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see in there. I got the servo horn on the wire. Okay. Now, 
We'll go ahead. Over the wires later. I'm gonna mount the servo in here. Yeah, it fits perfect. Okay, I get the servo mounted. I'll be right back. Okay, so hope you can see in there. Get the servo mounted. Now I'm gonna go and darn. I'm gonna make sure that I have my servo centered. So, just to make this a little easier, I'm going to put a small extension on here. Well, I have to bring a stand out, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Now I got a stand. There's a wire here for the servo. Plug it into here. And battery. Power. Right. Looking pretty good. Yeah, see how I set this it's centered? Unplug the servo first, then the battery. And my servo centered. So now I'm going to put the servo horn onto the um, servo. And I'll rip back. Well, the kit has a bad angle here. This is gonna come down and go on here. So I know I have to screw it in a bit. Let's see. More yet, I think. I'll put a slight bend in it too, to help out. Or maybe not. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Where's the big hole? Oh, that's pretty nice. But, we're gonna put a little bend here. We will. And, Disconnect this. Okay, see how high it is here? You see it goes up high. So, oh man, I'm gonna come over here. Okay, I'll put a bend like that in it. How can you see that? Huh? The bend I put in it. Centered that servo, right? So I have to take this out. Back two turns. Not go that too far. Back one turn. Beautiful. Okay. There, it's perfectly lined up. There. Now I can test this by, of course, plugging the servo into my little test box, right? And giving it power. Okay. Okay, fine. Guess what? That's the wrong servo. <laughs> That's the elevator servo. We haven't hooked that up yet. But, okay. There, there it's coming to life. Can you see the rudder? Up a little higher. Oh, it's hard to see, eh? Okay, maybe we'll change the angle a bit. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, how it rotates seems to work pretty good. I don't know if you can see down the bottom too. The rudder actually turns right here. I hope it's okay. There we are. Perfectly centered. And I'd say that everything looks very centered. So, that looks pretty good. There we go. Okay. So, oops, I better make sure, eh? I know I was fooling wrong with this, but I don't know if I centered it or left it cockeyed to one side. Ah, see? Now it's centered. You know, having a little servo tester, something to center your servos to all the time, is very handy. Okay, so. Wow, I want to go in there. Holy. Okay, for some reason, this wire's a little big for that servo horn. Do you know how I cheat a little bit? Okay, here's the X-Acto knife. I'm gonna heat this wire up just a little bit. Then I just poke it through, okay? I just poked it through, real quick. Now I'm cooling the wire off. Okay. So it fits really tight. I know that. And holy moly. Okay, so now we've got to get this end to be flat here. So at least we'll be able to hook up the servo horn. Holy. I don't know if I can take that much back. We'll see, but I don't know. I don't know if this will twist that far back. Wow. Holy. That's as far as it can go, just about. How much further do I have to go? I could trim it in, right? Hmm? Should we see it work? Well, we know we can do that. Because we have a servo tester. Yes. Wow. I think we'll trim that in. So that's lots of up the elevator. Could be a little too much. Oh well. Look at that. Okay. So we got the elevator and the rudder. Are both hooked up and working completely. Isn't that good? Now now we gotta put the radio in it. And Okay, let me check. I know you guys. These instructions really are very good, Hobby King. But, now they won't put everything on. And we'll open this hatch here. This is where we're going to put the battery. So, I did say I was going to use a... I have this... Nanotech 2.2 2, 2200 45C pack. And keep it lightweight. One has going to fit there so easy. Anyways, we'll get this. I'll upload some videos. And the um, last thing I have to do, I guess, is install the um, receiver. Remember, I'm using one of these the orange ones. I've had good luck with them. I got it in my wing. And I've had about 10 flights on the um, little blue wing. 
And in the main run, it was great. It flies great. A little fast, I think. I don't think you need a 4,000 kV motor in it. But, hey, it works. But, I'll upload this, and we'll um, come back, and then we'll finish this airplane. should get this thing in the water. I want it before the summer's gone here.